On Sunday, February 28, 2021, the Ministry of Health and Wellness reported one COVID-19 related death, bringing the total number of deaths in country to date to 36. The deceased is a 90-year-old male from the Vifort district with underlying medical illnesses who passed away whilst in care. The related death came on the same day that 103 individuals recovered from the disease. The Ministry of Health and Wellness has approved three antigen tests for use in St. Lucia. They are the Fora COVID-19 antigen test, the Abbott Pan Bio COVID-19 antigen test, and the SD Bioscience Standard Q. Astrid Mondesi is the drug inspector in the ministry. The rapid antigen tests are approved for use under the following circumstances. As a pre-screening tool for symptomatic persons and contacts for persons traveling to the United States. Private labs must request permission from the Department of Health and Wellness through the Chief Medical Officer to perform rapid antigen tests. The following laboratories are designated to carry out the polymerase chain reaction PCR test. That is the Ezra Long Laboratory at the Owen King EU Hospital and the Forensic Science Laboratory. To perform antigen tests, the following labs Laboratory Services and Consultations Limited, Microlab Inc., Global Clinical Laboratories, Descartes Laboratories, and Alpha and Omega Laboratory Services. All positive results must be reported to the Epidemiological Unit on a daily basis. Tests should be procured from manufacturers who work under a quality management system. Suppliers' recommended procedures must be strictly followed. The Department of Health and Wellness will be monitoring and evaluating test activities. The use of rapid tests which are not authorized by the Department of Health and Wellness is discouraged. Importation and queries of rapid antigen tests will be addressed by the Department of Health and Wellness for the Office of the Drug Inspector. That was Drug Inspector Astrid Mondesi.